From the outside, it looks like just another building at Bowling Green State University in Ohio. But inside is something unique, the world's largest collection of fruit flies. Now, you know them as the tiny flies that hover around fruit, and you probably consider them a pest. But to scientists, they are important research animals. Like all animals, fruit flies have chromosomes, microscopic strands of genes that are the chemical codes that determine the traits of all living things. Because the flies' chromosomes are fewer in number and 250 times larger than those of humans, scientists use the flies to study how different characteristics are passed on to the next generation. Genes produce the dark-colored eyes of this specimen and the red eyes of this one. Its genes gave this fly its clear wings and this one its spotted wings. The flies live for only two months, so scientists can work with many generations in a relatively short time. The insects are also excellent animals for testing chemicals to see if they cause cancer or birth defects. Both the fly that's being exposed to the chemical and its offspring will be observed for possible harmful changes. It's much less expensive and faster for scientists to use fruit flies for their initial research. To feed the 400 different species, nine different kinds of food are prepared. The basic recipe includes oatmeal, syrup, and yeast. Pineapple and cactus may be added, depending on the species. Laboratories all over the world send their requests to this fruit fly center. Technicians carefully wrap the glass vials for packing in special containers so the flies will survive their trips to distant labs. So look closely over a bowl of fruit. You may see an important scientific research animal, the fruit fly.